Okay, question number 40 uh, is just uh, finding a simple algebraic representation for a, a question, so let's look at it. It says, a repair person charges a $30 fixed charge plus $45 per hour for time spent working. What's the total uh, bill for the job that requires n hours of work? All right, well, you're, you're given a number of different options, uh, A, B, C, and D below, but really just look at this just for the repair person to show up at your house it's going to be a thirty dollar fee just for showing up plus forty five dollars per hour now we don't know how many hours that is so that's going to be our end so if it were one hour it would be thirty plus forty five times one giving you seventy five or thirty plus forty five times two hours of work and so forth well the answer then is D, and if you're not able to see it, just remember that, uh, look at D, 45N plus 30 is the same as writing 30 plus 45N, it's, it's identical. So just look at that, read it over, and it, and it, really, should, uh, it really should come to you. It shouldn't be that um, difficult. Um, let me scroll up and let's take a look at the next one, 41. Now this one is equally easy. I don't want you to miss these easy ones for sure. Which of the following equations could occur as a step in following, or pa pardon me, <laughs> let me start again. Mm -hmm. It says, which of the following equations could occur as a step in solving the equation above for n? So they don't want us to solve for n, they just want to solve it far enough to figure out which one of a through d would be a step. So really what you have to do is just do the uh, problem and then figure out uh, which step also occurs as a part of solving it. So let me rewrite it if I may. And even if I may not, these are all ends across here. Pardon my uh, random capitalization. But it, let's uh, take it uh, one step at a time. You know that the first thing that we have to do is get rid of our parentheses right here. That's, so that's the first thing that I'm going to take care of is that little uh, thing right there. So this is going to be 3n plus 2n minus 8 is equal to n plus 15. n plus 15. Okay, so far so good, but I don't see any steps on there just yet. Now let's continue by combining what we can combine. We now have 5n, because uh, 3n plus 2n gives you 5n, minus 8 is equal to n plus 15. Well, I don't see I, how I've hit any steps just yet, but I, I know I'm getting close. Now, look at this carefully. I would keep everything positive. I wouldn't be subtracting 5n from this side and 5n from the other. You'll wind up with negatives. So just subtract an n from this side and subtract an n from this side. Now, if that's a little bit odd for you, just remember that that's really negative 1n here and negative 1n here. That's what it would look like if, it were, uh, if this were rational. Well, anyway, we've got now 4n minus 8. Uh, is equal to 15. Doesn't look like I'm coming up with a step just yet, so let's continue by adding 8 to this side and 8 to this side, and what we wind up with then is 4n is equal to 23. And notice, I've just nailed it. I don't have to solve any further. I got it. It's uh, 4n is equal to 23. Uh, what could be easier than that? And the answer is not a heck of a lot. Hope that made sense. Thanks. Next.